Hello and welcome to back to the channel DevOps with Sean. If you guys haven't subscribed the channel yet, I would urge you to subscribe it by typing DevOps with Sean and hit the subscribe button just like over here. If you hit it and then if you press the bell icon, you would uh, here uh, receive automated um, alerts whenever I upload a new video in terms of around DevOps, cloud technologies, Azure, GCP and and see i see in a lot of uh, uh, on demand uh, videos which are requested by you so without further ado i hope you guys have subscribed by now let's get started and start today's video if you are a devops or an automation engineer i hope you would uh, write code daily uh, maybe maybe in python powershell for india windows bash or shell uh, Ruby, um, um, for there are different bunch of uh, 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 languages available. So, so which 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 is the best uh, ID or text editor you you can use? We're gonna talk about what is the difference between a text editor and an IDE that is integrated development environment, and then we'll talk about what is the best uh, um, text editor which you can use to compile or write your code. Uh, this is personally my choice uh, based on my experience past couple of years experience i've been using different uh, uh, text editor and, uh, and the ed editor which i have liked the most is uh, i'll talk about that so what is the difference between a text editor and an id id is generally a uh, heavy and rich uh, feature based uh, tool which can be used to uh, you we used to compile uh, software development languages like java python uh, java c++ c sharp uh, so these are these are the language which is used full fledged to build an application including python as well so you would uh, you would need a more set of uh, tools to uh, compile and build uh, using these uh, software application languages for those for those software development purposes you use generally uh, integrated development environment however you want to write a small script for your automating anything in your environment you use uh, text editors now let's talk about these text editor i if you're coming from a microsoft background or maybe any other background microsoft has a tool called visual studio code uh, which is open source and you pretty much can use it uh, for any language i've been using it the best part of visual studio is that you can uh, you can uh, not only integrate this with uh, any source code repository maybe uh, github or gitlab you can also compile your co code uh, in in the in the console so you don't need to go into a different console to compile your code you can simply write your code in visual studio code editor and then uh, simply go to debug and then then compile it by try uh, clicking uh, the the compile option so it, it integrates tightly integrates with powershell and uh, command prompt as well so whatever code you can uh, run on powershell you can run it on uh, run it on visual studio code as well it it gives a uh, first class support for terra tools like terraform as well it integrates with uh, gitlab or github so so you can you can uh, check in code using this or, or push push any commits you have uh, you can always write terraform code and compile it plan apply uh, destroy whatever you want uh, it comes with a lot of other plugins uh, this since this is an open source people from different uh, community uh, upload their module which you can use for different code languages like node.js python uh, azure amazon terraform it it comes with an auto completion feature as well uh, so my first bet would be visual studio code go ahead and download it for your operating system and get started and let me know how do you feel about it uh, next is all time um, uh, favorite for people notepad plus plus it's a very light weighted uh, uh, code editor which is 7.6 at the moment the version 7.6 it's a very light weighted tool you can uh, probably uh, you cannot I, th I don't think you, you can uh, integrate this with um, uh, this with uh, the source code repository like bitbucket or uh, uh, github um, but, but you can you can write your code in any any language maybe uh, any 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 scripting language and uh, and 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 it can it it's it's pretty light and uh, rich in in its uh, feature so you can do a lot of identification and uh, and 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 formatting using uh, this text editor so it's 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 also an open source 
and then you can always download it and start using it I have used it for a um, couple of years however it, it doesn't come up with features like compilation you cannot compile it um, on the notepad I think so so I prefer using um, uh, Visual Studio rather than notepad plus plus but if you are looking for a very lightweight um, code editor uh, notepad plus plus is a very good option next one is atom um, those who don't know atom is again a text editor open source text editor which comes with an rich features of integration with uh, code repositories like github it gives you a very uh, uh, rich features it's like any id so so you can always uh, it comes with an auto completion features and uh, in identification and uh, color combination as well which gives you a very very appealing uh, visualization of your code so so probably you can use this as well next would be uh, sublime text this is also a pretty lightweighted and um, visually very very appealing and rich uh, comes with the rich features of uh, uh, color combination and auto typing so so uh, auto auto uh, completion so you can always use it I have already installed out of my system I can show you probably uh, so so you can save it uh, with with the uh, the file name I have saved it in Python py and as you can see it comes with a color uh, coding as well which gives you um, a sense uh, what's what's a function or what's uh, what's what's a method which is used so as you can see it it's it's highlights uh, the equal and then it high gives a different color on the path and then it, it uh, for the variables it probably uh, I, within a curly braces it gives different color to it and a lot of other things and over here you can kind of get off a um, synopsis of what your code length and how it is looking like yeah that's pretty much all I think I think I don't want to confuse you guys with uh, 10 different visuals to I mean uh, editor uh, code editor I have been using these uh, tools from past many years so I would rec definitely gonna recommend these tools if you uh, if you were to ask my opinion I would probably recommend Visual Studio Code as it comes with a feature of uh, uh, downloading plugins and then uh, uh, comes with a feature of uh, compilation of your code as well yep that's pretty much all for today if you would like me to make a video on any of these code editor I would I would happy to do that uh, leave your comment so that I can understand and make a video on one of these code editor as well that's it for today I urge you again to subscribe this channel and that's it for today I'll see you in the next video thank you